on Amazon Prime Video from 1994. I watched Time Cop starring Jean-Claude Van Damme. This is his highest grossing film. It made like $101 million and nobody remembers it. I'll tell you what, this movie is almost brilliant and a movie I like very much, Minority Report, totally rips this off. So at the time this is kind of getting panned by critics. Oh hey, it's a poor man's Terminator, time travel. You know what, I'm seeing a lot of things here that Steven Spielberg just kind of slid in. Oh hey, yeah, let's do the Minority Report thing. Uh, you know, there's some similarities here. Uh, well, okay, start off with time travel. Guys are going from the future to the past, and by future I mean 2004, you know, when we had time travel. Self-driving cars that were tanks. Uh, they really didn't get the art design right in this movie, and that's pretty shameful. Uh, you know, and also, if you're going to time travel, you know, make sure you have the right duds. You don't need to go into the past and look like you're from the future. That kind of stands out, doesn't it? Well, this movie has its own rules for, for time travel. You know, it seems like everything's all in one line. You killed this guy here, you can't be back in the past to mess with you, whatever the hell. There's a lot of issues with the time cop committee. See, like, uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme's this cop who goes back in time, but every time he goes back into the, the present of 2004, how are they on the same page? Like, he has a totally different idea of, of reality over what his boss says. How does he keep having the same boss? Aren't all these ripple effects going to actually make some kind of significance? You know, the biggest thing that goes down is that the guy who, like, owns the time company, well, tries to, he's, like, running for president, and he's trying to get money from the past to buy the election. How does he want to buy the election? Advertising on TV. There's a lot of little smart things in this movie that really nail, hit the nail on the head. You know, this is kind of a President Donald Trump thing. He says something to the tune of, well, hey, I'm the villain, right? Well, he says, what America needs is a president who's so rich, he doesn't have to listen to special interests. Boom, that's Donald Trump, fellas. I'm like, whoa, this is oddly timely shit. And, uh, you know, what the hell's coming out of my nose? I can't scratch it, guys. I've got gloves on. So, uh, yeah, weird little things. There's some great lines in this movie, too. Little throwaway humor lines in the first half are just like, wow. There's a part where uh, uh, Mia Sarah, I'm just going to call her Sloane from Ferris Bueller's Day Off. She, time cop's wife. We get to see her naked. Um, she gets killed early in the film. And... Uh, house explosion and some guys from the future showed up roughed up John claude Van Damme. You're kind of wondering why so much. And that was in 1994, you know, 10 years later. Uh, John claude Van Damme's dealing with stuff. He's finding out that the guy running for president, who is like on the, the committee for, senator for the time time cop unit, uh, that he's he's uh, the main bad guy. People, people are getting bought off at the time cop place. Has an old partner who's kind of turned. Has this new chick brought in who it seemed like they're trying to make a relatable character and stuff, but they just kind of wrote her off too early. Like, these two should have been a little more buddy cop. Instead, it's like first mission out within a few seconds. Hey, I'm bad. I'm bought off. Oh, but, they, but shit doesn't go right. And there's a the gunfight. She got shot, but they don't know if she's dead or not, so they have to go back. He has to go back in the past again to find her. And there's some real issues with the way time travel works in this movie. Like... You go through this machine, you're, you're riding in something, you go through Stargate, and then you come out the other side without the machine. So where did it go? And then when you push the transponder thing, go back, you don't accelerate, you just go through Stargate, you, and, and now you're back in the machine. Like, how the hell did that work? Did anybody raise any questions here? Jesus. You know, little things like that derail this movie. Great lines in the first half. Really awesome ideas about, say, virtual reality sex stuff. Uh, you remember that scene in Minority Report where we have our, our now single uh, uh, lead guy, the baddest cop in the force, right? In Minority Report. And he's, he's remembering life as a family man watching watching the tapes on the projector the 3d yeah here you have 
you have Time Cop watching VHS tapes. He just kind of lonely in his apartment watching the tapes, recreating the lines from it, you know, that he remembers. Lifted and put in Minority Report, which ends up with way more drama and thus gets accolades. And this just gets written off in the second half where it gets to be kind of a mundane time travel type bit. Yeah, he just has to go back, find a, a cop friend. She gets killed at the hospital. Uh, oh, but what do you know? This is the day that his wife got killed and shit. So he has to go and try to fix this shit. Because these guys are after him still. Goes to the mall where there was an encounter with them earlier. I want to give a shout out to the Nissan 300ZX in the background. It says brand new 1994 model. I don't believe that's a 1994 twin turbo. Looks to me like an earlier 90s, 93 at newest. And that's because it has that black front bumper fascia. I know my shit. So, uh, any time when Jean-Claude has a double in this movie, this isn't the first time he did this. Remember Double Impact? I think Double Impact did doubles better. It's just so grainy and weird colors. They're trying to like work shadows in and post. As you have like a grainy Jean-Claude walk by, you just know that his double younger Jean-Claude's gonna be in the scene. So that night he goes over to his house where the bad guys killed his wife and shit, tries to prevent this. Gets into an extended fight with them. There's a weird error where the like main thug runs into Jean-Claude and yells and tops out the mic. He tops out the levels on the mic and you never hear that in even the shittiest movies. It's so weird. And this was like a Universal film. This was when Universal tried to make Jean-Claude into a thing. And this was the closest they actually got. You know, I gotta say, there are some interesting fights in this. Maybe the most memorable bit would be earlier in the film when some goons are after Van Damme and he does... Uh, there's like this water bottle that falls on the floor. I don't know why he would have Colligan water bottle in his apartment. Really? Um, you know, you have a tap water, right? But Joan Clud, he's very fit, right? Well, this guy, he's got this... Uh, a uh, stun gun, he like hits the floor and shit, he's gonna fry him or something, and like Van Damme just like does a split, like avoids it. That was really badass, that's probably the most memorable thing you guys know about this movie. Or at least there was a time in the 90s where that was almost a thing, like how Tom Cruise coming in from the ceiling was parodied. Almost. And it, well, it just turned out people couldn't do the splits. <laughs> so you couldn't really parody that as easily. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, this movie has some real issues. Uh, the bad guy's younger self is an idiot, I guess. He gets called to the house. They're going to bloat the shit up. He's like, hey, it doesn't matter if I die. Younger me's going to be fine. Ah, uh, ha, ha. He's at the house. Oh, hey, what are you doing here? Uh, you told me. To nope. I, t I contacted him. Joke's on you, asshole. Anyways, uh. Van Damme like kicks him into his self and it looks terrible. This guy just kind of like, whoa. <laughs> and then they merge and into like some very bad early 90s CGI blood creature and disappear. Van Damme, Sloan, get out of the house in time. Uh, she was going to tell me she's pregnant. We could all see that coming even from the beginning. I have something to tell you. It's not that she's 